Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today is our first day being in this 1867 farmhouse 100%. We finally stopped renting back yesterday from the previous home. We had a wonderful snow and I want to give you a tour of the property and ask you a lot of questions of what I might grow here, especially around fruit trees, different vegetables, and really get your input. We're going to start on the right side of the property and we'll work our way all the way around to the left side. This tree looks beautiful covered in snow, but it is dead. It's going to be removed and this side is going to be fruit trees. So I want to put in some Russian pomegranates, Asian pears, some apple trees. So here's a space we could definitely fit in two trees, I believe, right there. I want to put more into this space over to the left. Full sun's going to be coming in and the taller trees here on the right won't block the fruit trees in here. Um, but again, Asian pomegranates. Uh, I'm sorry, Russian pomegranates, Asian pears, some apple trees. I do have pines, and I believe pine trees harbor diseases that get transferred back to apple trees. So any disease-resistant apple trees or any kind of fruit tree you think would look great in this space, I'll probably put in there. That's something I don't know a whole lot about, but I want to get the fruit trees into this area. This will also probably be a place I'm, I talked about starting a nonprofit organization, um, putting in some teaching garden beds. area in there is mine too. I want to, so to speak, seed mushrooms in there, other fungi. So any thoughts you have on what I can put in there in the way of mushrooms, other berry bushes would be great. This is the space again. The taller trees are going to stay behind the fruit trees so they won't cast any shade. But this, I think, is a great area a closer you know, for my look orchard. at the wooded area I was just showing you and we'll come around here this is the back of the yard all the uh, sun vegetables or vegetables that need full sun fruits that need full sun are good to go right in here this is an area along this side of the woods will be uh, where I put the goats but I need to learn more about them I also want to travel a little bit this year so I don't want to get animals if I'm going to be away seven to ten days so that may take a little bit more time but if you have um, suggestions on if you do travel or if you do get sick or you need to be away from your home, how would you manage the goats? Like, is, is there a service? I don't know. Right in here, I just did a video on how the sun tracks through the yard and this is where I get the most sun. So different vegetable beds are going to go in here. Let me take you across to uh, where I have some fruit trees or a fruit, um, yeah, blueberry bushes planted and some canes. Right in here will be a fruit garden. Again, blueberry bushes planted three feet apart. I want to have a hedge of blueberries right there. Have my blackberry canes in, a currant plant, and hops on the opposite side. And again, the hops plants, of course, they'll get 12 feet tall, but they're not going to cast shade into this area. And I transplanted these, took them from my previous home, the old rusted garden, got them in here about a week or so ago. Just wanted to get them into the ground. Could also drop in probably a couple of fig trees, but there's a place in there I think for a fig and other parts of the property. I'll walk you up along that side in a second. Here is the back of the house. Let me go over to the left real quick because I'm going to put the uh, white picket fence up that was there and talk a little bit about that. Here's the side of the house. The ramp is going to be painted white. I talked about having that removed, but we're going to keep it. It's really, really well built and who knows, I may need it down the line. Underneath this mound here are my perennial shade plants. Uh, my ferns, some other hostas, and just different plants I pulled out of the shade garden back at the old rusted garden. It's covered in a painter's tarp, clear plastic, two layers, weighted down. They will overwinter here perfectly. They're just in grocery bags beneath this. They'll do perfectly fine. They'll stay warm. They won't freeze. I just didn't have time to get them into my gardens he uh, here at the new place. Don't know where I want them to go, so I'm just going to store them there. This whole space will be fenced in with a white picket fence starting where I'm standing, going all the way along the left, along the driveway. This will all be planted. I'll show you pictures, of course, without the snow, but you can trust me. There's planted beds here. I want to get some of the perennial shade plants in here. I'm growing a lot of perennial flowers this year from seed. I'll have them in future videos when I do seed starting, if you want to subscribe to my channel. Seed starting, of course, saves you money, but growing perennials also saves you money. If you're going to buy them, your perennial plants will come back year after year and you only have to pay for them once or you only have to seed start them once and get them in the area. But this whole space behind the plants you see there will be a white picket fence. 
All right, let's get back to the other side. The shed structure here will get fixed up. I'll probably put some wood on there. It's gonna get a new black metal roof. Could use that for seed starting, drying my herbs. And we're gonna come right through here to the other side of the yard. I really like this space. This whole area in here is going to stay. I'll clean it up, get some of my uh, shady plants that I showed you on the other side in here when the temperatures are right. That is an amazing holly tree. I didn't even know they got that large, but it's just beautiful. Beautiful trunks, beautiful leaves. Everything is green, really, really healthy. So again, I might drop in some grapes in here, you know, room for more fruit trees. Let me take you right up front there to those bushes. Now we are closer to the road than I wanted, uh, but this was a compromised property. My wife wanted something specific, I wanted something specific, and it worked out really, really well. And of course, we're both happy, so that has to go on top of the list whenever you're moving to a new place. Arctic kiwi, a male plant, female plant, they get really tall. They will help screen out the road. This is an elderberry bush that I got Towards the end of the season, it was half price. I think it was regularly like 35 bucks. So if you're looking to buy plants, don't want to spend a lot of money, you can go to Home Depot and Lowe's as the season's ending and just pick up what you want. So here we are at the front of the house. We're in the tour here. I really would like suggestions on anything that you think would grow well here in Maryland Zone 7. Things that have maybe are not traditional, not grown regularly, any kind of you know, landscape plant that is beautiful, that flowers would be wonderful. I'm gonna be seed starting perennials. I wanna just show you, I mean, I love this space. I do have a question, let's see if I can cover, uncover this. Does anybody know exactly what that plant is? I would appreciate that because it, obviously it's staying green in the winter. Um, I have this space to really drop in my ferns and other shade plants I brought from my previous house into here, but I want to know what's growing in there. So please, any suggestions you have, I'm really likely to take you up on it and put them into the garden and I would love to show off your suggestions. Thanks so much for watching and being part of the Rusted Garden.